How's it going, Teal Boys? It is week 11, and we're looking for revenge. Simple as that. We have Appalachian State coming to visit us. They're 4-3. and three. We're 7-2. and two. This is a rivalry game, and we have, we can see, uh, top right, or, or uh, at the top, I guess, visiting prospect. Nine of them visiting. We might add to that as well. It looks like that we're the better team. Uh, obviously, my my playing it leaves uh, maybe, I don't know, that drops us to a C plus or maybe a C overall team, just uh, my user, but I think that we've got a good chance. Now, we'll do our recruiting first, uh, but I want to save the ESPN for later because I want to get into this. Mostly, I want to get into the recruiting because we have two more guys that we can schedule for visits. Maybe both this week? Yes, both this week. So, we are in second with Dominic Williams. Uh, the 69 overall tackle. He's coming to this game no matter what. This is, I mean, we're bringing everybody because we're trying to show off. And uh, Adam Hall is also a tackle. He will have a competitive visit with Dominique Williams. But the extra complimentary will offset that and still benefit us. So, try to bounce back there. We've got three players without scholarships. I think these are the three that we added to the uh, board last week, including Ashton Keith, the 79 overall defensive end. I don't think there's a chance that we could get him, but uh, we're only 625 behind and he's, what, 18% locked. So not a not a super high chance he gets picked up, but we will offer scholarships to these guys. That'll get rid of another 150 points. And then I'll go through and I'll free up some points for the guys that, that are now at the bottom of the board. See what we can do. It looks like we're about to pick up Neil Boone. That'll likely happen this week. Um, the question is, what will it look like for everybody else? Okay, so just scrolling through, this week has a lot of implications. Uh, a lot of the guys that are visiting that we are behind on are coming this week, and they're you know they give us a chance to stay in a battle. Michael Fogel is that way. And so are guys like uh, Calvin Rutledge. A bunch of guys. Uh, Ashton Keith, we're going to give him as many points as we can, obviously, because he's a 79 overall defensive end. Uh, but then, yeah, there's guys. Todd Dean, we're behind a little bit. His visit's actually in two weeks. And then we've got something with, like, Alex Moore, where we're behind a little bit. He's 91% locked. But if we have a really good visit this week, we might be able to hold off uh, ULL. We could get back into this one with Memphis and Middle Tennessee with Jason Robinson. So you guys get the picture. There's a lot of these visits um, that are coming this week that matter a lot in terms of our recruiting. So we need to do well on the uh, on the day and hopefully I don't screw this up. So at least 11 recruits coming to this game. Uh, we're an 81 overall to Appalachian State 75. We have an 83 to their 70. But the Mountaineers have a two overall edge on us on defense, 82 to 80. So uh, we need to be very good on offense. I think that's the key. The defense will get a stop here and there that should give us a chance. But we just need to get the job done. Uh, the recruits are coming. I'm kind of thinking... Uh, well, obviously the... The black helmet. What other, uh, what are all the alternates? Do we go all black? I kind of like the idea. We're going to go black out here against uh, the Mountaineers. And they are updated. What do we give them? Maybe the, the all white? That would be pretty fun. They do have a lot of options. Let's go uh, all black versus all white here. Kind of uh, interesting look. Give them the Stormtrooper look and we'll get into this. And we can see that, uh, yeah, offensively, they're one of the worst in the country, but they're very, they're pretty solid on defense. Whereas us, actually also offensively, one of the worst in the country. <laughs> and defensively, right there, middle of the pack. So this is going to be a tough game. Again, tons of guys visiting. Uh, we're not even going to worry about getting um, goals for the most part, unless we start to blow them out. The, the easiest ones will... Or should be passing for 250 and running for 100. You know, nothing that we can guarantee there. Their top players in the 90s. Well, they've got uh, a 95 and then a 90. And then they drop back down into the mid 80s. So if we can contain Jolly and Hodges, that will be useful. And they've got a left guard who is probable on the game. But we are back here in Conway for the rivalry game. Not a whole lot of yellow in the stands. So that's nice. 
And uh, what will the Mountaineers go with? They choose Tails, and unfortunately for us, Tails never fails, so they're going to win the toss. But that means Diggs will get to come out to uh, return this one right away. I'm actually stupid. They chose receive. <laughs> so Diggs is going to have to wait till the third quarter. Hopefully, just by the third quarter. Hopefully, we don't give any points. And Biscardi can get this game underway. I don't think that's a returnable ball. So they're going to take a touchback. And we'll see the defense come out to the 25 and try to get this done. This drive could really set the tone for the game. So we'll see if we can contain him. And the quarterback throwing one away immediately. That's just kind of a broken play from the AI. It's going to be hard for us to count that as a true stop. I'm expecting a run on second and 10. They bring a wide receiver in motion, kind of a stack. And there's the handoff. Can we get the stop? It is third and seven. They've come out in the hurry up for this third down. Can we get the stop? It's going to be a pass. Over the middle, the tight end was wide open, uncovered. Shelton didn't get there in time, and they get the first down. Last thing I want is for this quarterback to... Just throw all over the field on us. So we'll see what we can do. This is going to be another pass play. And Spillum got beat, but his man goes out of bounds after only four yards. After the way that we lost last game, I feel like there's just so much pressure on us to do well. As this running back picked up 10 yards and another first down. We even tried to blitz on that one. But we just need to get this done. I'm hoping for the best. It's going to be another handoff. The running back has a lot of room. And he picks up another 19. Oh, no. Just trying to do what we can. They do step back to pass here. And the tight end comes free. Nobody seemingly guarding him. And he gets eight yards. Second and two now. We're going to try the blitz on second down. Hoping for the best. Quarterback does step back to pass. He's got a man wide open. And Mats needs to get the tackle. That was a really weird animation, but he does pull him down. And I just feel like there's not a whole lot going well for us on the, on this drive. Defensively, at least. This is a handoff that will lose three yards, so there's something. And on second down, we'll see what we can do. Try to uh, defend against this one. Kind of expecting a counter on the run. It's an option. Quarterback gets the pitch out, and the blocking was impeccable. We don't give up the touchdown, though. Third and goal. We have a chance here. These guys are in the hurry up. We're going to try to bring pressure. The blitz on third and goal. They're going to go to the air. The out route isn't there. He finds his man in the corner of the end zone. I just couldn't get there in time, and it's a touchdown for Appalachian State. And they're going to look at this. I think he was definitely in, but I do not mind the refs coming in. To potentially intervene. Yeah, this is... Again, this is the second one of these that we've seen uh, in a row in our reviews. And that one was just so obvious. My Ducks at number 9 have beat Cal by only 3. They improved to 8-1, and one, so good for them. And uh, Habibi Likio, the running back. Another massive gain. 217 yards. So Diggs back to return after a tough drive. Uh, Appalachian State looking very solid. The Mountaineers obviously came to play it as a rivalry game, and they do a great job uh, defending the return. We're starting inside our own 20. First down, we're going to just hand this off to Reese. Try to get ourselves uh, working on the offense, and I like that he's falling forward there. Great five-yard pickup. Let's keep it on the ground on this second and five. Actually, this looks like it could be a very big one. The safety started to motion over to uh, protect it, but Reese is going to have the first down just sprinting to the corner. I know it maybe seems a little bit stubborn, but I really do not want to force myself to have to pass this game. I just think that their defense is going to be too good, and the running game is working fantastically. Offensive line getting a great push. Normally here is where I would... Try to call a play action, so, but we're going to go against that. We'll run the uh, read, and Grayson... Oh, no, he broke a tackle, but then ran backwards, so lost more yards, and it's a loss of six. That one's entirely on me. I should have audibled out. Safety kind of taking a step up. This two wide sets, and Reese is going to lose three more on the counter. Oh, maybe I should have passed a little bit earlier. Because now it is third and 20, and we desperately will need a completion. 
And I'm throwing this one up. It's not likely to go well. Would have been an arm punt otherwise, but uh, it's deflected and it's 4th and 20. At least it's kind of a meme number, because that's all that we have going for us on this one. Wind coming into our face as Biscardi will punt this one away. Decent kick. The question is, how is the coverage going to be? And... Oh. <laughs> Why do I suck so bad at tackling in this game? We give up 24 yards on the return because I just missed him. This is not how we wanted this game to start. As they will throw the ball away, thankfully, as we were bringing the blitz. Definitely can expect a pass now on this second and 10. Trips to the left. There's going to be the pass and strong almost got in there. We got the deflection and it's third and long. I 100% expected to get the pick as they're going to hand it off on third and 10 and we'll keep them short by a yard. Defense might have held. And unless this is a fake, they have the punt formation comes out for the Mountaineers. And it is going to be kicked away. Now this might be foolish. I want to return it with Diggs. Let's just let it bounce into the end zone. Let's not make any absolutely stupid mistakes. This stopped working at the end of the last drive, but we're going to come back out running the football. Looks like they wanted to bring some pressure and Oh, the linebacker got in there and disrupted it immediately. A loss of three. We have to be passing on this drive. I definitely feel like this defense is going to smother us. Second and 13. We'll go play action. The pressure's there. But look at all the room for us to scramble. Grayson McCall is able to pick up everything that we needed and get the first down. They 100% bought on the play fake. And it works perfectly. And now we're going to go with a jet sweep to Isaiah Likely. The tight end of all people. He's going to get a little bit of stiff arm cheese to allow him to fall forward for four yards there. That was a lot of alliteration there. Fall forward for four yards. A lot of F. Anyways, the read option on second and six. It's going to be a handoff to Reese, who breaks a tackle and gets three more. So we've got a third and short. Hopefully we pick this up. And this is likely to be the final play of the first quarter as we have reached the 40-yard line. Looking for a running back to bringing the linebacker in the blitz. And Reese picks it up and gets us to midfield. So that's going to end our first quarter. We're down seven, but the defense did get a stop for us. And uh, we're on the drive now, so we just need to put this one in the end zone. We can't go wrong with a classic dive up the middle. As uh, that last play was Grayson's second pass of the day. So really not utilizing his arm in this one. As far as I'm concerned, I'm not sure why we should be utilizing his arm. This is going to be a quick throw. We find highly, and uh, we get four yards. This always scare me a little bit. But that gives us a third and one, and we're going to try the dive here. Looks like they're going to be ready for it, so can we do anything? We don't need to. Offensive line gets just enough. Reese picks up the first down. This seems like a perfect opportunity for another play action. As we're waiting over the middle of the field, we have Bedgood, who took a shot from the safety, but still got 16 yards on the play. Our man absolutely got pummeled there. I hope he's okay. Uh, well, anyways, can't can't just sit there and worry, so we try to run the little draw, and it just gets back to the line of scrimmage. Time for us to run an AI play as we go to the slip screen. White kind of catches it on the run and cuts it north for a couple. But it leaves us with a third and seven. So we're going to go to the air here. I would like to find Bedgood. Maybe Hiley will be open. And this is a risky throw. Oh my gosh, I feel like it just bounced off of Javon. It's fourth and seven. I think we're going to kick the field goal. Unfortunately, I need to make sure that we come away with points on this drive. And... Uh, no, it's a four-point game here, but us getting the ball to start the third quarter is very useful still. Had this game, uh, or had we started with the ball on this game, I probably would have gone for it, but uh, kicking off was useful, and uh, we went ahead and let them return that, and it worked okay, I guess. Burned some time off the clock. Now, the Mountaineers cut, keep coming out in these... Uh, Big wide receiver packages. So first and 10. This is going to be a run. Safeties have to come up to make the stop. And they only give up six, which for us, honestly, is pretty solid. 
Now on second and four, we're going to bring the blitz. And this is going to be a run. Can we get there? We do get the tackle with Shelton, and it's third and five. Somehow, we managed to uh, not miss a tackle in some open space, so that's useful. And on third and five, they will throw this one. Stokes, oh, it was a tough spot in the zone. Had to choose who to go for, and they made us pay. Try to bring the blitz again on this first down. There's another tackle. And there's a fumble. The ball pops free. The lineman picks it up, and he got eight yards. Oh, no. Big boy started rolling with it, and I'm actually glad that he didn't break that tackle. This guy, uh, great hands from him. Hey, regardless of the outcome of that play, props to uh, me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to toot my own horn because my tackling hasn't been terrible compared to what we're seeing so far this game. Like, normally at this point, we've given up a whole lot more than we have so far, so I'm happy with it. Quarterback, I'm waiting for him to scramble, and, well, that wasn't the best tackling from me, but we give up the first down. Only two yards, though. Let's see if we can slow them down a little bit. Expecting the run on this first down. It is going to be a handoff out towards the edge. It's up to Matt's, and, oh, well, I should have never said anything because we're never going to get another tackle. Try again to bring the blitz on this first down. And it's another run out towards the edge. Spillum brought him down first contact, but they still pick up another first down. Hopefully we don't get burned on this. Bringing a big blitz on this first and 10. And they're going to go to the air, of course. Strong gets beat, has his tackle broken, and Morris pulls him down. But it's first and goal right there at the goal line. We're going to go ahead and bring our goal line uh, package out. Kind of expecting this to be a run. It's an option out towards the edge. We swallowed the quarterback alive, but two of us went for him when only one needed to. They score the touchdown, and it's a 14-3 App State lead with a minute and 50 left in the half. So we have plenty of time in all our timeouts, but we have to score a touchdown on this drive. I don't think that a, uh, another field goal will really do it for us. And Diggs getting a decent start to the return. A great start to the return, and he stayed on his feet to midfield. That'll help tremendously. If it's necessary, I don't mind kicking the field goal. Uh, it would make it a one-score game, and we'd be getting the ball to start the third quarter. But obviously, it's not what we want, as we found White. Picked up the first down, and so we're going to go in the hurry up. I'm ready to take a timeout, but I want to be able to do as many plays as we can. This read option, Grayson's going to keep it. He's getting some blocking, and oh, took an absolute shot. We'll take a timeout to let him take a breather from that one. But at the end of the day, he was still able to pick up seven yards. We're definitely in field goal range. Can we get anything more? They're bringing the safety on the blitz. I'm looking for Dion Fountain 100% on this one. No. No blitz, but a man wide open in uh, Mobley, and Tyson has us in the red zone there. Coming back in the hurry up, first and 10. No blitz on this. I don't see anything. I don't see anything. We're getting rid of it. I'm sure that somebody was very obviously wide open, but I didn't think it was worth the risk, so I'm fine just stopping the clock. Getting to second down. We can run the counter here. And Reese, can we get out of bounds? No, we took a shot. We got to go in the hurry up now. It's third and eight here. I don't feel super comfortable with uh, this play call. We'll run it anyways. And this is a risky throw. Tyson Mobley, lucky that one wasn't picked off. It's fourth and eight. And I think I have to kick this field goal. I'm not happy about this, but at least it makes it a one score game. Defense just has to do their job with the remaining 53 seconds on this half. So, Biscardi's going to boot this one away. I think I've put it in a spot, yeah, where they're going to return it. This will burn some clock off the, uh, the game clock. And uh, we did give him a good return, but 49 seconds now. So, the question is going to be, what can we do to stop this? I'm expecting a run to start it off. I'm going to run to the right, maybe to the left now. And no, the quarterback's going to keep it. He's going to throw a bomb. Spillum needs to get the tackle, and he pulls him down. But just like that, they're almost in field goal range. They took their first time out, but it might be too little too late. As they will come out five wide, looking to throw. And they go over the middle, definitely in field goal range now. And they get another first down with 39 seconds. This is disastrous. 
Let's see if we can do anything better with the man coverage. Another first down. And thankfully the quarterback just missed. Plays like that are great because it gives us a little bit of a chance to breathe. And on this second and 10, we're going to need that. Expecting another pass will bring the blitz. And I'm kind of waiting for the corner route. There it is. But the interception from Mats. Can we end up scoring here? Mats in a foot race with the quarterback. Turns the corner, but doesn't quite have the speed. But we get the turnover. Now we have 23 seconds and two timeouts to turn this into points. That one looked like it belonged to the free safety the entire way. As we will step back to pass, and hopefully we don't just give it right back to him. Javon Hiley gets the ball, and he's free. I think he's going to get caught, but he's inside the red zone. We'll take our first time out, or our second, and there's 16 seconds, and we're in field goal range. We have a few plays that we can run here, kind of mostly looking for the end zone. We'll see who's going to get open. If anybody... Oh, I had to get rid of it. We're going to uh, just let the clock run down now. We can take our timeout with three seconds left. And it's a shame that we're settling for the field goal, but this is a free three points. Assuming I hit the kick as time expires on the half. It's only a five-point game, so a touchdown on our opening drive would be nice, but we haven't found the end zone yet. Three field goals gives us nine points to Appalachian State's 14. Uh, we've got a little bit to work with, but this is a rivalry game with a ton of guys visiting, and we need to get the job done. Um, the running started great. We just need to find it again, and the defense honestly has done a good enough job. It's so fantastic that we get to start this uh, half with the ball, though. As Diggs will be bringing this one out for the return. I don't see a whole lot of blocking, if any. We made a man miss, though, and broke a tackle, and we were able to get to the 25 nonetheless. So for the first time in what feels like a long time, we're winning the turnover battle. We just need to keep that up by not giving it away on offense. Trying the read option on first down. Grayson's going to keep it. He's got some blocking, but I'm going to slide down for a gain of seven. I'm really hoping that the flurry of passing that we did at the uh, end of the first half kind of makes them forget that we were running the ball so well uh, as we pick up our 10th first down of the game and we'll look for a short pass on this first down i'm not seeing it honestly gonna get rid of it their coverage was pretty solid didn't want to risk the throw that brings up a second and 10 and i'm not confident about this we're looking for the uh bubble screen i'm gonna have fountain just on another route just in case it's not there and well it kind of worked uh we let it sit for a long time and eventually found bed good and it's third and one now so I got to imagine here as we've crossed the 45 that a dive to Reese White will be enough to pick up that first down. The blocking looks good enough, and it is. He gets five yards on the carry. We'll go to the air again on first and 10, and the wide, or the running back is wide open. Reese White, unfortunately, we can't find him in stride, but he was streaking free, and we got a quick 14 on that play. This is going very well for us. First and 10, another run up the middle. We make a cut, we make another, and we find seven more yards. We're moving down the field really well. We just need to find the end zone. I just don't think that we can afford to settle for another field goal. Um, so we'll try the read option. This is going to be a handoff to Reese, who... Well, the spin move didn't do anything, but he still finds seven yards. Corners are playing pretty far off. I think we'll have Javon Hiley. No, let's just throw the safe route to Isaiah Likely. Get the positive yards. Just move on to second down. We don't always need the long pass plays. I want to throw the screen here, but again, I'm not feeling too confident. Uh, and the screen's going to work really well. No, I should have been further outside. We should have had at least a first down on that. Screen worked. I just uh, screwed it up, so third and four. As far as I'm concerned, though, this is four down territory. So we'll hand the ball off here and expect if we don't get it to go for it again. And Reese doesn't pick it up. We got half of what we needed, but it's fourth and two now. I plan on getting outside the pocket with Grayson, so we're going to move White. Uh, actually, that's not where I want White. Let's bring him back to our side. <laughs> we'll uh, hot route him quickly on fourth and two, snapping the ball. Edge has enough room for us to scramble, and Grayson picks up the first and goal with his feet. That keeps this drive alive. 
We really need to score a touchdown now. We've burned over half of the third quarter away on this drive alone. They're bringing the safety. We're going to go to the air. Um, see what we can do. We're looking for Bedgood on the quick fade route. He's jammed up at the line. Tossing it up. Bedgood, what a weird route. He catches it, breaks the tackle. He's in, but there's a flag on the play. Oh, this is going to be against us. It's a holding. Aaron Bedgood had us in the perfect spot, and Reese gets called for the holding. He said, you're not going to hand the ball off. I'm pissed. And so it backs us up to the 18. So first and goal, 20 yards essentially to go. We'll start this with a run, I guess. He got his wish, and Reese got some blocks, and hey... Well, at least he made up for it with a decent run there. I'm mostly upset with that holding because it's not often that running those fade routes works for me. So I was expecting something. Uh, we'll go with the slants. And we had it. We had multiple guys open, but I just, again, didn't feel comfortable making the throw. So this gives us uh, third and goal as I just saw a pop-up. Uh, Fountain is out for the rest of the game with a high ankle sprain, so we lose a wide receiver. But, no, we're not going to get into the end zone. Fourth and goal, we'll have to go for this. I don't at all feel confident. We're actually going to flip this play. We're running the screen again. Maybe we can find Reese trying to sucker him in. Oh my gosh, what are the odds? The man got tripped up, otherwise we were fine. The turnover on downs, we just spent five minutes burning the clock to show nothing for it. If the defense doesn't get a stop on this drive, it's game over. I think it truly is as simple as that. Uh, as I want to blitz on this one, running just is going to be too good, and they pick up a first down, so they're not in any danger of a safety now. See if we can start bringing some blitzes. First and 10, expecting this to be a run for sure. They go play action, and they have a man over the middle. And we just missed about half a million tackles. He's got blockers downfield, and they are across midfield. Oh, this is disastrous. In no universe can we afford to spend that much time when we're down and come away with no points. This is going to be a run. Thankfully for a loss of a yard. Good tackle by Derek Bush. And we should be seeing a pass here on second and 11. He step back. I just, uh, there was nothing I could do there. Two guys to cover, I chose wrong. I get the first down. We'll keep bringing the blitz, try to start pressing up as well. This is going to be a handoff. I just don't get where the gap comes from. All their blockers are engaged and they just find a hole. Have to be bringing pressure on all of these plays. Second and one, man in motion. It's going to be a handoff and a first down, if not a whole lot more. Shelton, I don't know what the angle he took was. Uh, but there's the touchdown. Man, this is disastrous. Well, at least number four, Florida has lost to number 14, South Carolina. But with five seconds left in the third, we're down at two scores. I just, uh, I just feel so not confident at this point. We need a good return from Diggs, and the blocking just isn't there. So we don't have the luxury of time on our side as we'll get one play. Uh in this quarter and I see absolutely nothing McCall getting chased down avoids the sack why our triangle is open it's Tyson Mobley <laughs> the ball is just a little bit late so we don't get the completion the end of the third quarter comes down 12 we haven't found the end zone I don't know if we will in this entire game we're gonna open this one up with a verticals see if we can get anything and uh, you know what we're going to just kind of cheese the quarterback scramble because we have to find the end zone very quickly expect to see me roll outside the pocket on just about every play for the rest of this game unless we see somebody absolutely wide open there's mcfarlane who is breaking free in the tight end picked up a lot of yardage let's go in the hurry up now he had the little double move on his route it Freeze him up, and uh, we can just continue to pass here. They're bringing some pressure. We're going to scramble again. We're going to try to do whatever we need to to pick this up. Second and one. The bubble screen finds Isaiah Likely, who jukes a man out and gets another first down. 
This feels like it's going to be a very quick drive, but can we finish it out? We've gotten to this point before. They say it likely holds on to the ball. It's a first and goal at the one. Unfortunately, we were just in a weird formation. So first and goal, we're going to look to scramble this one in with Grayson. Or we could throw the bubble screen and likely can find the end zone. Oh my gosh, we finally did it. It's a one score game with 513 left in the fourth quarter. Well, we're going to go for two, but I accidentally called a play that I didn't want to call. So we are going to audible into the counter and, and hope that Reese gets the blocking that he needs. Can he bounce it to the edge? No, it's not going to be there. There was no reason not to go for two there, but unfortunately it doesn't work out for us. And we're going to go for the onside kick with 5.13 to go. Too much power on this one. Hopefully he gets a really good bounce. Holy crap, it went a mile. That, that might be the furthest onside kick I've seen in this game. Unfortunately, it goes out of bounds. So a uh, little kicking infraction there is going to give them some interesting field position. And it, what is this? It gave them the ball at the 21 yard line. What on earth is that crap? They're going to hand it off. <laughs> what? It's a first and goal after a 14 yard carry. Oh my gosh. The refs are absolutely brain dead right now. What a stupid decision. The quarterback gets sacked. We have to hold them to a field goal now. We've been robbed. Second and goal. They step back to pass. Quarterback gets sacked again. It's third and goal. And there's a long ways that they have to go to pick this up. Can we stop this on third down? We just have to defend the end zone. They go with the screen. This has to be a tackle. And we're going to take the timeout with 419 left. Let's save as much clock as we can. Well, shoot. Now uh, not picking up. That extra point makes me think a little bit differently about this game. Fourth and goal. The kick is up, and he got it. No problem. It could have been like a one-score game, but that's fine. A returnable ball for us. We can do something here. The blocking is great. Diggs gets us to the 35. We got to move quick still, though. Grayson McCall again looking to uh, dot these guys up. Outside the pocket, throwing a tough throw. Tyson Mobley's got, and he's out of bounds, so stopping the clock, but we got to continue to move now. My main read on this one's going to be Javon Hiley. We'll see how the coverage is looking. It's not what I like to see, so we'll just get the positive yards to likely. This gives us a second and eight where we'll look for Tyson Mobley on that double route or the terrible throw. No, Hiley... Caught it! Oh my gosh, I thought that was a pick for sure. Unfortunately, it's third down, but I thought the game was over. Uh, all right, well, we, we got to keep playing. We're going to scramble with Grayson. And he couldn't pick up the block, but he made a man miss. Stayed in bound, and Grayson McCall scores on the 40-yard touchdown run. Oh my goodness, it's a three-point game here. Could be two. And because it's three points, we're actually going to go for this. So that if they score the touchdown, it's just an eight-point game. The read option is risky. Grayson can't get in. Oh, I maybe should have dove for that. But 325 and two timeouts, the defense has to come up clutch. Unfortunately for the defense, we are kicking another onside kick. Not enough power that time. And it just bounces into the hands of Horn, who gets uh, them to the 40-yard line. We're going to bring a big blitz on this first down. I was expecting a pass. Quarterback, thankfully, just threw it into his lineman, so we get a quick second and ten. Really, my hope here is that we just continue to contain. I'm expecting a run at any second, but this is going to be a pass, and the out route is wide open. And he's breaking all sorts of tackles, 23 yards there. We'll see if we can bring the blitz on this first down. This is going to be a handoff. We were there with Clark, but they picked us up on the block again. It's a first and goal at the one. Oh, this is bad. Our defense can't seem to do anything. See if we can just force this quarterback into a mistake. It's going to be a run, and we do get our first stop. Second and goal. Need to hold him to a field goal. I know that they're going to step back and pass on one of these. The question is, which play is it going to be? They're starting to burn the clock, which is... Potentially useful for us. We know that this is going to be a run. Where is it going, though? 
They're gonna burn this all the way down. Oh man, I mean a long time for commentary in between uh, these plays. Seeing if we can shoot the gap, expecting the run, calling it a run up the middle. There's the handoff and the stop. Oh, we're not taking our timeouts just yet. Third and goal. But we're really hoping on this one. On third and goal, I'm gonna use Ursini McRae. Kind of expecting a run. See what we can do. They're gonna burn the clock again. I don't feel confident about anything with this. Can we hold them to a field goal? A minute and 40 to go. It is going to be handed off. We hit him before the line, but he broke the tackle and it's a touchdown run. Oh, with a minute and 40 to go, we're gonna be down 10. There's almost no chance that we win this now. Oh, we had the stop and we just couldn't finalize the one tackle that we needed all game. Diggs oh, gets pulled down, not a good return. This is looking bad. You know, even if I screw this up, remember that one time that the refs gave them the ball at hour 21 to start a drive? That was a load of crap. Not even my fault either. McCall scrambling. Have to be getting out of bounds on these. That was a big hit on him. Hopefully he's fine. A minute and 30. I'm looking for passes, but I know a uh, interception ends the game. So also looking to do a lot of scrambling. There's Tyson Mobley on a quick catch. Didn't get out of bounds though. Unfortunately, this almost doesn't matter if we don't manage to pick up uh, the... Oh gosh, this is a terrible throw. If we don't manage to pick up... Oh! Did he come down with it first and 10? I was going to see if we don't pick up the onside kick. That was fantastic. We're going to stay in the hurry up on this one. Oh my gosh, I did not expect highly to come down with that pass. And this way we go with the hurry up. They can't uh, beat us. Javon Hailey breaking free, scores the touchdown. Oh my goodness, why is this game so close? It's gonna be a three point game with a minute and 16 though. Unfortunately for us, we don't have all of our timeouts, so this could be deadly. Kick finally got a decent amount of power. It was a terrible kick though. Bad bounce and they're gonna have uh, almost field goal range here. So from the 4-3, we will expect runs on just about every play, and that's not good. How did he pick up a first down? <laughs> oh my gosh, where's the help? You can't let him stiff arm for 10 yards. Well, that's game. There's, I don't think, a single thing that we can do with our two timeouts. Uh, so we'll hope for the best. We'll take them, but uh, the clock is in, in anything but in our favor here. And we'll take the timeout, but that's that's game over. God dang it. I just don't think that they'll do it, but the only hope here is that they go and score a touchdown. Literally the only chance that we have in this game as this is going to be a handoff and we have to let him score. And we didn't, I didn't want to let that happen. Oh, it's so frustrating when this game just doesn't let you play how you want it to play. And so 34 seconds, they're going to be able to come out in the victory formation. This is so stupid. Oh, the defense just couldn't get it done in like three occasions where it mattered and uh the offense not scoring a touchdown the entire first half devastating ggs i guess to uh, the mountaineers the rivals beat us by three the refs absolutely screwed us they bent us over the barrel with that terrible call on our first onside kick but i mean we couldn't stop them after that and we missed a couple of two-point conversions so i mean what can we say all these recruits and we lose the game it's our second in a row and i am uh, i'm not in a good mood now that was such a frustrating loss definitely should have been able to win it so we unfortunately lost miami survives against georgia tech auburn beats georgia 19 points in the fourth quarter just wasn't enough nine points there in the second Oh, we should have been in a spot. We rushed for more than them. We passed for more than them. We won the turnover battle. We had more first downs. We had more time of possession, but we just could not find the end zone until the fourth quarter. Very, very frustrating. Grayson goes 22 of 29 for 277 through the air. Carried it for 100, had three touchdowns. Braden Matz had a tackle for a loss and a pick, but just not enough. Couldn't stop the running back who put up 182 on us. I just hope that this doesn't kill us in the recruiting game. 
we'll go ahead and sim to the next bye week and uh we'll just hope that things went in our favor well at least uh we have a, a little silver lining on the week in the form of some recruits committing uh and some good ones at that neil boone the 77 overall outside linebacker commits we get a 69 overall left tackle and a 69 overall wide receiver in Dominic Williams and Maurice Dingle. And then another 67 overall tackle there in Adam Hill. So we get some decent pickups. We had some decent visits. It's just so frustrating not to get that win. So into the bye week, seven and three now. Back to back losses hurts. At least we know that we weren't the only team to get a loss. Um. Florida, of course, lost to South Carolina, who jumped up to number eight in the country. Uh, West Virginia lost to a now number three Oklahoma. Iowa State lost to Texas Tech. Penn State lost to our current number two Michigan. And they have to play Ohio State this week. And Georgia, of course, with their loss, dropped out of the rankings. No longer are we receiving votes, and I don't think that we should. And how about the BCS poll? This is the second iteration. We missed the first one. That's my bad. But uh, yeah, we're not on there either, which makes total sense. Undefeated wise, only two teams left standing, Miami and Michigan. And uh, it doesn't look like they're playing the best of teams in Virginia Tech in Indiana this week. Our Heisman watch list is going to see uh, Javante Williams from North Carolina. Zach Charbonnet or Charbonnet, who knows, from Michigan. We've got the Oregon running back, Cyrus Habibi Likio, who continues to put numbers. I'm just curious. Uh, 1,700 rushing yards already with a few games to go. Uh, very much on pace to break 2,000. Then we have the West Virginia running back, Letty Brown, who couldn't get it done in the loss against Oklahoma. Only 88 yards for him. And uh, Caton Thompson, assuming that, that might be how you say that. Uh, the... Redshirt senior quarterback from Virginia. Uh, the last two guys dropping down on the board. The one final thing that we'll look at this episode is some award semifinalists. We'll see where we're at or, or if, you know, if we have anybody as semifinalists or who the top guys that uh, KT on or Kate Keaton or however you say it, Thompson from Virginia leading the race for the Maxwell. The Walter Camp, we see Javante Williams. For the Benderick, we've got uh, Jeffrey Gunter, actually, in second place. So, if he finishes out the season pretty well, a decent chance to win the award. Gunter also up for the Nagurski, right now behind Max Tooley from BYU. And Kosi Perry is at the top of the list for the O'Brien. For the Walker, it's Javante Williams again. The Bolitnikov, we see... Tamori on Terry from Florida State. We don't have it to be on the list. At the Mackey, Brevin Jordan, the tight end from Miami is there. Nobody from us. Panay Sewell, unsurprisingly, since he's stayed in this game to his senior season, is at the top of the list for the Outland. Creed Humphrey at the top from Oklahoma for the Remington. The Lombardi, we see Kingsley. And Ekbare. Maybe how you say that. Uh, from South Carolina. Max Tooley and Gunter at the top for the best linebacker. Derek Bush on the uh, list for the Thorpe. Although it's, you know, he's in 10th. And RJ Roderick from South Carolina is leading the way. Uh, Biscardi surprisingly is up there for the Groza. 16 of 17 on the season with a long of 54 and 35 of 35 on his extra points. So pretty solid there. Nobody from us for the guy. Uh, Kai Kroger, another South Carolina player, topping that list. And for best returner, it is Aaron Diggs, uh, the man who won the award last year, although not nearly as impressive. Only two total return touchdowns on the season, which is a big letdown from like the seven or more that we had last season. But that's going to do it for this episode. What a heartbreaking loss. When we started the comeback, I felt very confident. When we had that third and goal that we just barely didn't stop them on, I was feeling confident until he made it into the end zone. But again, sometimes you just take those losses. The defense 
had some good drives. Uh, our tackling overall was better. I had a few instances, a few plays where I just missed by a mile, but I think that's always going to be the case. But we had good passing. No interceptions from me, and I didn't throw a ton of ridiculous balls either. Unfortunately, though, that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, again, the continued support on the channel and the series is mind-blowing. Um, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please feel free to scroll down and hit the subscribe button while you're down there. Maybe check out the description down below where you can f find links to our Twitch at twitch.tv slash goonmaster, uh, our Twitter and community Discord as well. And then also I've got a link there for the uh, college football revamped mod for those of you that are wondering how you can get this mod yourselves. Regardless, that's going to do it for us today. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Goonmaster. You guys are the Teal Boys. And wherever you are, have a good night or have a good morning. And we'll see you later. Adios.